I'm JP Hunt with Inksoft, and in this video, we're going to showcase some new enhancements that we've added to the custom personalization features inside of the Inksoft platform. Now, in the event that you aren't familiar with custom personalization, I'm going to kind of take a step back and just give you some context into the value and really what custom personalization is intended to help you achieve, and then we'll showcase some of the new functionality. All right, so to begin, custom personalization, as the name may imply, is the ability for you to collect extra information that you'll need to decorate each individual garment or order. So the most common use case and example here is things like player name and number, or maybe you need to collect an employee's first name to monogram you know, below the corporate patch, whatever it might be. So think of custom personalization as you're selling a product, but you need to collect extra data from each consumer in order to personalize their product uh, with whatever embellishment is relevant to your sales opportunity. So here's a quick example we have on screen here. And you'll see this is a standard sort of e-commerce product page where I can look at the different colors that are available, of course, choose the size of my garment. But you'll notice there's two prompts, each of which are required. And the first one says, enter player last name. And below that, enter player number. And of course, you can see optionally the ability to display a description of those custom personalization fields. So the description helps the consumer to understand what the heck they're inputting and how it's relevant. So it's a great way to just inform the consumer. And that's a, a great way to mitigate the potentiality of a customer service phone call or an email or confusion or even a website exit. So with that said, that's custom personalization. You can see enter player last name. So in this case, I can enter name and then enter player number. I can input that. Now I want to point out uh, custom personalization can either be a text entry filled or it can be a drop down filled. And you can have up to five custom personalization fields. Uh, the requirement, or previously it was up to three, but we expanded that to include up to five custom personalization fields. So that's the background with custom personalization. Now what I'm gonna do is go to edit that specific product. So of course I'm logged in to the Inksoft demo site. I'll go to store admin. The first thing I'll point out, when you navigate to your store products, which is default when you click store admin, any of the products that have custom personalization associated or assigned, you'll notice there's a tag that displays here. So in this case, I have one product for this store and you can see this green tag that says personalization. And of course, if I hover my mouse over that, it says this product can be personalized. So with that said, it's a quick and easy identifier so you know which products have custom personalization associated. So what I want to do is click on that product, or of course you can go to any product in your online store, and you'll notice that there's a personalization tab. So you'll see general is the default. Right next to it, I can click personalization, and this is where you can configure up to five of those custom personalization fields. So let me kind of expose to you now what the new functionality that we've added. So we've added some enhancements uh, that, uh, we're hotly requested amongst the Inksoft community and we're excited to now deliver upon that. So let me kind of bring some exposure into what those uh, two enhancements look like. So first things first, now that I access or open up uh, and edit the custom personalization field, you'll notice the two new functions here, field input format. So this is optional. Both of these new enhancements are optional, so there's no friction. But here, you can choose the formatting that's gonna be eligible for that field. So in this case, I can specify that, hey, this field is only for numbers. So numbers only. The other option is no special characters. So think if you are uh, setting up, again, for player name and number, and you wanna collect the player number, you probably wanna do something like specify that that's only to input numbers only. And if a consumer goes to enter an exclamation or an asterisk or something uh, that uh, is, is not eligible, uh, of course, they would get validation that that's not uh, eligible. Now, you'll notice the second option is character count limitation. And again, this is optional. So this is where you can specify that, hey, it's only possible to have between one to two characters for a number. There's no case in which you'll have no number or three numbers, right? So with that said, I can specify that you can have between one and two is the minimum and maximum. Now, of course, when you configure a custom personalization field, we generate a preview at the very bottom. This is a quick way for you just to make absolutely certain that the field is dialed in properly. So this is kind of what you see is what your customer will see. 
So in this case, you can see enter player number. We made that required, and so there's a red asterisk, so I cannot add this product to cart unless I've inputted that field. Now, I do wanna point out, uh, again, assuming that none of you have used custom personalization in the past, uh, at the point that I deselect uh, making that field required, you have the ability to monetize that field. If it's required, then it should be cooked into the product price to avoid confusion, so point of clarity there. Um, so what you'll notice here that this has a character count limitation. So um, I can only input two characters. I cannot input more than two. Now you also notice uh, when I go to input a character, it shows one of two characters have, in, have been inputted. As soon as I input the second, uh, you'll see two of two. So it's a clear way for your consumer to understand exactly uh, what's at play here. Now, again, the other option is no special characters. So that would prevent, again, uh, let's say you're collecting employee first name. You probably don't want an employee to accidentally type in a special character like comma or semicolon. Uh, so in that case, it will uh, pro prohibit any special characters. It will collect text only. Now, why is this uh, feature so important and why was it requested? Well, number one, this is a way for you to avoid mistakes as it relates to production and misprints. So what you're doing on the onset, you're prohibiting your customers from inputting bad information. Thusly, that bad information is not going to even enter in your production world. So you're eliminating the potentiality of misprints or mistakes right up front. You're clearly communicating to consumers as they're shopping for products on any of your Ingsoft powered web stores. And you're clearly communicating, which is the ability to avoid, you know, a customer service inquiry, a time delay in conversion, or even the potential of a frustrated customer exiting without making purchase. So I want to leave you with a few other concepts here. You know, if you're not really leveraging custom personalization yet, I encourage you to take full advantage of this feature. This is an excellent way to drive up your average order value. So again, you can monetize these personalization fields. So think about in your sales scenario, you know, is there an opportunity to offer a standard issue pre-decorated product, right? Maybe you're dealing with a church and it's a youth ministry group. You're going to offer a standard t-shirt or product uh, with that youth ministry uh, group's branding and identity on it. But maybe you want to add the option of letting a consumer add extra embellishment or personalization. So, and really that's an upsell or upcharge opportunity. So if they elect to, maybe they their um, the decision is, hey, we have a standard plastisol print or you can choose to add, um, you know, water-based imprint, you know, which is a premium fill, fashion, whatever it might be. You know, you can choose to let a consumer at that product uh, sort of self-upgrade. So a cross-sell, upsell opportunity, and you can upcharge for that. Um, at the same time, think of custom personalization as a differentiator and helping your clients understand that this is a custom, really a, a, a crafted, handcrafted product so, you know, you can justify a higher retail price point. So if a consumer just sees this as a commodity or sort of a, you know, a, a basic product, again, it's hard to justify a premium price. But when you're offering the ability to add extra embellishment or customization or personalization, I mean, really, that's the power of personalization, right? It commands a higher retail margin. So think of custom personalization as beyond just collecting extra decoration information, which obviously is important and that's what the feature uh, helps you to, to achieve. But putting your marketing hat on, think about how you can use this to monetize and increase that average order value and cook in some extra profit. And also, you know, give some more value to your consumers, right? Have them uh, recognize the, you know, the, uh, the perceived value of these products because they are, again, uh, highly customizable. So with that said, if you have any questions about the new enhancements, the field input formatting and the character count limitations that have now been added to custom personalization, uh, make sure, as always, to reach out to the Ingsoft Success Squad. We'd be happy to coach you and walk you through and give you guidance as it relates to this feature and, of course, any of the other functionality that's available in Ingsoft. And I'll remind you, uh, this is just another example of your feedback getting translated into new features and enhancements. So we encourage you to continue to keep your feedback coming in, voting on the feature ideas that you find valuable and that would bring you uh, value because that's how we're prioritizing a lot of product decision making here at Inksoft HQ. Well, thanks for tuning in and we hope this feature provides some value to you.